When someone says the word volleyball, what do you think of? Maybe a game or just a white ball? Well, you may not know it, but volleyball has a lot more to it. Volleyball has been a huge part of my life ever since I was six years old. It has brought me lifelong friendships and great memories. Although it can be very frustrating at times, it has still brought me <laughs> great memories. One of those great memories is when our AL volleyball team went to state. Now, I can't sit here and say we played our best because we definitely did not, but at least we made it. Now, volleyball may be one of the easier sports to play, but it is definitely has a lot of rules. We are going to play three sets of volleyball, which include how to play, the history, and the positive and negative effects. To spike things off, let's learn how to play volleyball. There are six people on each side of the court. The players use their hands to bump, set, or spike it over the net. To score a point, the ball has to touch the court of the opposing side. Once you score a point, you take the ball back to serve until the other team gets another point. There are three sets in volleyball and sometimes five. To win a set, you have to score 25 points before the other team does, and you can win by no less than two points. In club volleyball, it is best out of three sets, and in high school and college volleyball, it is best out of five sets. Now, you may know some volleyball chants such as an ace. An ace is when you score off of a serve. Now, a kill is when you score off of spiking the ball over the net. Strength and Power for Volleyball says that the basic volleyball techniques are blocking, setting, digging, passing, and serving. Now a block is when the other team is trying to spike the ball over the net and you have to try to jump up to block the ball with your hands. Now a dig is when you try to pass the ball up to your teammates. Now you may be wondering where volleyball came from or who invented it. So let's bump it to the history of volleyball. The game of volleyball was originally called Mentonet and was invented in 1895 by William G. Morgan after the invention of basketball. Athletic scholarship says that it was originally created for people who thought the game of basketball was too hard or too much work. The, the original volleyball net was started at six feet and six inches tall, which seemed a lot higher back then because the average height for an American was a lot shorter than it is now. It was originally made for males, and then shortly after they realized that females could also play, which is pretty crazy to me putting into hands that it is more common for females to play these days. Nowadays, the high school volleyball net is seven feet, four inches high. Now, to start off the next set, let's learn some of the different types of volleyball. The original, originally the volleyball, the most common type of volleyball is played on a court that looks like this. But have you ever heard of sand volleyball? Sand volleyball is just like indoor volleyball, except it has a higher net. Sand volleyball, is definitely a lot harder than indoor volleyball because it is much easier jumping off a hard surface rather than a bunch of piles of sand. Sand volleyball can also be played indoors if you want to play year round. There's also such thing as beach volleyball, which is the same as sand volleyball, just typically played on a beach and with a different ball. As we head into our final our last and final set of this game, we will learn about the positive and negative impacts that can affect a young volleyball player. The Children's Hospital in Colorado says that the most common injury when playing volleyball is ankle injuries. Hand, knee, back, and shoulder pains are also very common when playing volleyball. There is a lot of abnormal bending and rotating to the body which causes a lot of lower back pain and shoulder pain. Now some of the positive effects in playing volleyball 
is that you can become very toned and shaped. It strengthens your upper and your lower body and helps with hand-eye coordination. You can also lose a lot of weight when playing volleyball. Well, everyone, it looks like we won our game. Since we have now played a whole game, learning the many rules, the background, and the pros and cons of playing volleyball, I'm sure you are very tired and ready to head back home. Thank you for playing and great win tonight.